I know y'all hate my ass. Y'all can't stand me. Y'all think I'm a liar. It's not true. I'm gonna wait a few minutes because I, I know y'all were not expecting. This is gonna be a hoot for those who are watching the re-upload of this shit. Hey. See, I, I personally thought it was okay that I was doing this live stream a little late because, not a little late, like six hours late. Because shit happened. But I, I figured a few more people would come through. Shout out to Boris. Boris underscore Fuentes underscore Hernandez for showing up. What I'm here to talk about today is not just the release of Gemini. It's, it's the reason why I was here and what's been going on. As Lighthouse is playing, this is the second track from Gemini. It's very peaceful, very appropriate for what I'm about to be talking about. So I'm currently in an unhoused situation for the second time. As many of you may know, I've been unhoused before. That's the term I'm choosing to use because we don't say homeless in this community anymore. I hate to say this community, but in this community, we don't really, it can be very pejorative to use that term. So what we say is unhoused. This is my second phase of being unhoused. So that's kind of what I've been dealing with. I know you, you guys are usually used to seeing me post way more during release week, the week leading up to uh, the release of the project. But this time I've had to just take a step back and be like, okay, what is urgent and important that needs to be taken care of? And that is housing. And that is getting our shit out of the apartment which is what we did today. Uh, we were told that we were we would have our stuff thrown away had we not collected our items, not even sold, not even given away, which is what we would have preferred that somebody receive, you know, the furniture that we've been able to earn, you know, money to accrue over these years after getting out of the homeless shelter the first time. We thought it would have gone to somebody, you know, maybe in the apartment complex, but they were just gonna throw it away, which I think is terrible. So we had to make sure that we got there with the U-Haul and handle business. And so from 10 a.m. to about, 10 p.m. Honestly, we were moving boxes, going back and forth from the apartment to the uh, public storage, and you know, like just handling business because a lot of my and it mostly wasn't even my stuff; it was the stuff of my my roommate. We both went through the shelter experience together. We both were unhoused in the previous experience as well. So a lot of what he what what we accrued as roommates over these past few years has largely been attributed to him and him really taking strides in his furniture sales role that he currently occupies and has been occupying for a few decades of his life. He's very he's a very talented furniture salesman. He's just had, you know, some bad luck, just like I am a very capable person as well who's just had some bad luck. So that's kind of happened for the second time. So we were dealing with that. We've been going from, just to be transparent, we've been motel hopping, you know, finding whatever the best deal was for that evening and uh, making sure we get our booking, making sure we get to the, the facility just so we have a place to rest and a place to kind of organize our stuff. We really did the major organizing today at the facility. Uh, we have to go up to the third floor, go behind this wall, that wall, and then go over there. And the lady said it was right by the, the elevator, but it wasn't. Y'all know how that is. Y'all know how like the, the storage place is. It's, this is a very common experience. So finally got that done and we went to Denny's. And so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll live stream from Denny's. That's a lively environment. Usually my shit is boring. I'm just kidding. And don't agree. I don't need nobody to agree. I don't need nobody to, con to concur. I know sometimes my stuff can be a little bit like more relaxing and unlively, but this time uh, I was gonna do a little bit of like bring everybody at the diner into it type thing. But the Wi-Fi was awful. The Wi-Fi was shitty. So even it, it showed I had three bars, yet why doesn't google.com load? Why doesn't the speed test run? Anyway, so I was just like, they're gonna have to understand. And I really was hoping that there was a built up anticipation for me to come and do the live stream. I will, Boris just asked what my plan is now. Trust me, I'm getting to that. I just kind of want to give those who I know were really looking forward to the 6 p.m. live stream. I get just the whole the whole story, the whole synopsis, because I feel like you guys warrant it. I feel like everybody who has been waiting warrants it. So I will answer what my plan is, how I'm, how I'm dealing with it. But yeah, so like I said, I've been going from Motel 6 to Motel 6 mainly. Motel 6 is, is my road dog because first of all, they don't have security deposit. Anybody, I don't know if you're looking for lodging. Anyway, if you ever are and you don't want to pay a fucking hundred, $100 security de uh, deposit or you don't want to put down a credit card that's going to be charged even though they tell you it's not going to be, Motel 6 is where you want to be. And actually stay at the Studio 6 because that's more like a, it has more studio, like apartment kind of feel. It has a microwave and a fridge. So, you know, that's kind of where we've been occupying when we can afford it. We've also stayed at some other places, which won't be named because let's just say I didn't trust my body with the towel. I didn't want to, I didn't want the towel. I didn't trust like the washcloths that they gave on my body. So that's all I'm going to say at some of the other places. Never had that experience at the Motel 6. So shout out to them. So we've just been, we basically been 
uh, going from Motel 6 to Motel 6, like I've been saying, we finally got our stuff out of the apartment and into the storage today. But before that, we've been kind of making our, our, plan, our plan as I, as we go. We have continued to work because he was a furniture sales um, person. And so what he's been doing now is Amazon Flex. Um, I ha applied for Amazon Flex, but I've been on the wait list for such a long time. Uh, I've been on the wait list for probably six months. It pays really well. It's consistent. I don't want to give Amazon too much love because that is a multinational corporation, but it is very reliable and it's been it's really what's allowed for us to have a place to stay each night because as many of you may know i do uber eats and instacart and instacart often has system issues that require for the account not to be logged into for days at a time and uber eats can be kind of sporadic especially in the inland empire region you know but i've still been showing up i've still been making myself available when i'm not going to school and when i haven't been preparing for this ep this is monk by the way the song that's been playing uh, for the past two minutes or so is Monk. <laughs> 